Hey guys! So today I have a really awesome hair tutorial for you and it's how to get these type of curls. Basically like perfect curls. And I forget where I learned this, but um, there's probably a few videos on YouTube on how to do this. Um, to get these type of curls. Um, it's... Well, how to get these curls is using, um, kind of, kind of weird, but, um, using a flat iron and a screwdriver. And you're probably thinking, oh my god, it's so bad for your hair, it's so bad for your hair. Um, I don't think so. As long as the screwdriver is clean, it, um, it won't melt into your hair, especially if it's, like, steel or metal or something like that. It will not melt into your hair, so, um, it's perfectly safe, um, so don't worry about that. Um, so basically, I'm just going to get right into it. So what you want to do first is just um, do a half up, half down. Obviously, if you have thick hair, my hair is like sort of thick. But um, for anyone, maybe, I guess. I don't know. <clears throat> oh, and this works on any hair type. Long, short, you know, um, naturally curly. Well, if you have naturally curly hair, I don't see why you want to do this. But naturally straight hair, if, if your hair doesn't curl well, this will still work for any of that. Um, any hair type, any hair length. But if you have like super duper long hair, I mean, <laughs> look at the size of the screwdriver. It is not going to fit like super duper long hair. This barely fits my length of hair. But um, it fits my hair just right. So if you have like super duper long hair, it's like down here, like down your butt. Um, hopefully you can find a screwdriver that's like that size. <laughs> I think they, I don't know. But um, so what you're going to do is you're going to grab a section of hair about, I'd say about this big, about an inch wide and um pretty thin piece though and then take your screwdriver and you're gonna take it and you're gonna um try to put this together and let me know when you're done Flo because I'd like to hop in the shower. Okay mom <laughs> Moms um okay so start it here where you want the curl to start and wrap it around and make sure it's like near the end so like just push it down there and just wrap it around until you get to the end. Now, once you get to the end, what you're gonna do, ugh, ugh, there's a hair in there. Okay, now once you get to the end, you're gonna have this. So you can see like it's all, it's all like that. And then you're gonna take your flat iron and you're just gonna clamp it a few times onto the um, thing. <laughs> just a few times, doesn't take too much, just clamp it wherever there's hair wrapped around, just all different directions and blah blah blah. Okay, and that should be enough. Now, all you're gonna do is let it go. And you have a beautiful, beautiful curl. Well, that one didn't really come out that good. But it's super so I have stu stupid dark hair and can't see it. Hold on. It is super, super cute, but that one really didn't work out too well. But um, it would show up kind of like like these. They're so cute. Okay. I'm going to do one more just so you guys get the idea. I always like to do things twice because I'm just so nice like that. Thank you, Erica. Um, I'm going to like clip these down. Hold on. <clears throat> clip this hair down. I'm going to look like a little spider monkey or something like that. <laughs> Look at a little peacock, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, whatever. Um, please don't mind that. <clears throat> um, so once again, about an inch, maybe a little more than that. Um, about an inch, pretty thin. Take your screwdriver, put it where you want the curl to start, and wrap it around, push that back down there, and just wrap it around you. What the heck are you doing? <laughs> Wrap it around. Okay. <laughs> I'll try to push that down more. Okay. Now you're going to have that. So then you're just going to do the same thing. Just put this here. Try not to burn your fingers. Because <laughs> I've done that many times. <laughs> try to get as far down as you can. Okay, that should be enough and then just let it go 
magical. I know, that one turned out a little better. But just like these really weird, just not weird, but like really cute, like S-shaped type curls. And they're really, really fun and cute. And I really like them. Did I miss a piece of hair here? No. Or is that just the, is that just hair that I didn't curl? <laughs> I don't know. But um, they're so cute. I love these. Love these so much. And these will stay all day. Like, I don't even think I would put hairspray in them. I think I would just leave them like this. And as the day goes on, they're going to get softer and softer. And um, actually, I haven't tried brushing them out yet. Maybe if you brush them out. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Uh, maybe you shouldn't brush them out because they're going to turn out like this. <laughs> I just didn't know what they would look like if you brushed them out. They look so... Oh, that looks really cool, actually. If you want, like, an afro for Halloween, it's like, yo, what's up? I've got an afro? Okay, whatever. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Alright. But those are so cute. <clears throat> now there's another hairstyle. Give yourself an afro. What? Okay. Um... <clears throat> So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Once again, if you have super duper long hair, hopefully you can find a uh, screwdriver that's very long and long enough for your hair, hopefully. And um, <clears throat> another thing I tried is if, if you want to use a marker. If you want to use a marker, a pencil, or anything like that, um, well, a pencil would probably be fine, but um, for a marker. If you don't have a screwdriver, which I'm pretty sure everyone has a screwdriver in the house, but if you don't, um... If, and if you have like markers or something like that or a pencil, if you have a marker, make sure that, okay, how am I, I going to explain this? When I was wrapping it around, the, the screwdriver, you could see that the pieces were, well, except for like the one wasn't together, but some of the, most of the pieces were together. Like I'll try to show you again on this one, I guess. It's really Afro piece. Now, how I did it and how the hair's like together. See how, like, all the hair is, like, together like that? If you're going to use a marker, you absolutely, yes, that's my word, absolutely have to have it together if you're going to use a marker. Now, <clears throat> cut, well, yeah, if you're going to use a marker, and if you, and if, like, there's space in between the hair, if you know what I'm saying, kind of explain this a weird way. Oh, my God, that looks so funny. Um, but if you have space, the like, the heat is going to go into the marker, with the material and the material is gonna melt into your hair and that's not gonna be good. That's gonna be disgusting and that's gonna fry your hair and that's just gonna be awful. Um, and that's not gonna be easy to get out. Oh my gosh, I just so wanna do this for Halloween. It's like, yo, I'm gonna give myself an afro. I'm not kidding, okay, whatever. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This was so, so, so super easy. I love this. I think I'm gonna be using this like constantly now. Love you, screwdriver. See, now a screwdriver is not just for like building houses and whatnot, it's for doing your hair. Now you can say, How'd you do your hair today? I used a screwdriver. And I learned it from Erica. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching.